Uh, I was I was a at the library two or three or four times a week, and I checked out the maximum number at, you know whenever I could. Uh, I was I was from a very very young age a total book nut. Uh, my my father always tells the story of finding me at the age of I don't know four or five in the back seat of his car reading a back issue of The Atlantic. I mean, clearly I had no idea what it was, but it didn't matter, you know, whether it was a cereal box or The Atlantic or, you know, Dragon Riders of Pern or in anything. Uh, it was just, you know, I, I could get so immersed in everything. So libraries were key, uh, otherwise I would have, you know, broken the bank. Uh, and my, uh, one of the, my greatest memories is being allowed into the upstairs room of the school library when I was only in second grade and it was all the, like, big kid books. Um, so, so, so libraries were where I, you know, it's where I cut my teeth really it's and it's been vital ever since well uh, you know I, I work in libraries especially when I'm on deadline I think they they spent the 40 I was at the 42nd Street library in New York which is, is where I go I love the fact that libraries are both very private places and extremely like couldn't be more public uh, that, that everyone everyone can can and does come to the library for all kinds of reasons uh, I, I love that uh, I, you know and everyone knows to be quiet so you've got the, you've got the people but they're quiet and uh, and I love that and I don't do a lot of research because mostly I write about me that could change at some point but I did do uh, some research for Julie and Julia I went to the Schlesinger library to look at Julia's archives and I so tr I mean I could have looked a lot of it up in books or uh, transcripts and online even, but the experience of having those actual objects in my hand, those letters between Julia and Paul, uh, the the original manuscript of, of mastering, was so invaluable uh, to me. It, as, as, as a person and as a writer, I, I could not have gleaned nearly as much understanding of those characters and their idiosyncrasies and their passions uh, without seeing those objects themselves. And I, I treasure that experience, and I wish all the time I could go back and just bury myself in it again. My new book is called Cleaving, A Story of Marriage, Meat, and Obsession. And it is another memoir. It takes place uh, a couple years after the events of Julie and Julia. It covers a substantially darker period in my marriage, uh, and also covers the six months that I spent as an apprentice at a butcher shop in upstate New York called Fleischer's. So it's all about me learning to cut up meat and trying to see if I can repair my marriage. You think you're going to become a butcher now? Well, I. Kind of a butcher. I'm sort of a quasi butcher. Uh, I mean, I, at the time that I was actually butchering every day, I could hold my own with, with, with the guys. Uh, now that I don't do it every day, I'm a little out of practice. I, I might need to get a job again, and in that case, I, I'm, I'm going to knock up Fleischer's, see if they can put me on the table again.